Welcome to our video homily for today, Sunday, August 25th, 2024. We are in the 14th Sunday after Pentecost. This is the last Sunday of August. We continue praying for those who are sick, especially for Jack Griffith, Chris Dolly, Caroline Leslie, Betty Morgan, and Janet Kerr. For those who are in need, for Leon Jungen and family, for the people of Venezuela, Gaza, and Ukraine, as well for those who are mourning, especially for the family of Michael Creole, and those families who lost their beloved in wars, natural disasters, or urban violence. And today we pray for those who are celebrating birthdays. So, Eleanor Geiskel, congratulations. The Gospel of today is taken from St. John chapter 6, verses 56 to 69, and it's about flesh and blood. And we will split in three parts this passage. The first part will be about a dilemma, the second about betrayal, and the third about to believe. Let us start with dilemma. All of us experience dilemmas in our lives. In every stage we take difficult choices, especially when the choices are very equal to each other. We are responsible for our priorities and to keep the balance between spirit, soul and body. How to understand and how to use this passage for our lives? That is the point. You choose. Remember, we exercise free will every day. So you decide through flesh and blood to be in communion. Remember, communion is a composed word, common union. And this common union is, a, is through the sacramental life, the life of the church. If you are looking to feed your body only and not your spirit, well, there is a big dilemma. Jesus Christ was teaching to his disciples, but there was problems to understand and some were offended and others were complaining. That happened every day in churches, but one way to be in communion is through the Eucharistic celebration, the sacramental life, because it is a mandate to be celebrated all the time, is in memory of our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. The second aspect is betrayal, another word well known for all of us. Here we must learn about how to manage betrayal, but from Jesus' example. For example, Jesus washed the feet of Judas with kindness and graciousness. Our society, even religion, is obsessed with a long list of things, but under the point of view of moral, but omitting a large list of ethical things like betrayal. How many people betray or were disloyal to Jesus or breaking the promises to God that happen very often. But there is Jesus ready to forgive us because the price for our betrayals was paid on the cross with grace and mercy. Take personal time to check your life about betrayal in spirit, soul, and body. Think about that in private and learn from your own journey and the last part, to believe. Once we believe there is a transcendental experience, we change our nature. 
there is a new relationship with God. Everything starts in believing. Even if we believe at the last minute, like one of the two criminals at Jesus' crucifixion, this one exercise his free will and exercise his faith and recognize Jesus as the Messiah and Savior, and he got salvation, a promise audible by the Lord. It is time to believe. It is an opportunity to take Jesus' promise of salvation now, to take with joy the flesh and the blood, which is the only and unique sacrifice for us. Stop your dilemmas and take the right choice. Reverse your betrayal and turn your life facing Jesus. Start to believe more and more through God's word. It is not difficult to understand. Stop to feel offended or complaining. There is bread and wine to eat and drink as part of the body of the church. Amen. Que tenga, have a wonderful day and a blessed week. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.